Uh, we're going to get this thing going up to the Great American Pub in Concha Hawken. Maze, Aton, and Tony Bruno checking in as they've got the prize of all prizes you guys are giving away tonight up in I got people texting in they're saying they're stuck in traffic to hold the tickets for them well you've never seen anything like this before and I don't mean Tony Bruno live in person yeah I don't get out much no that that in its own right is a spectacle and a feat amongst humanity but it's beyond that of course this prize neither we said what 75 years combined radio between the three of us yes yes none of us have seen anything like this i've never seen anything like this so no, I mean, give us a little insight to the people who are listening or driving i know there's people on the way up there they want to know what time what they need to do this now an unbelievable prize drive in the breakdown lane get here as soon as you possibly <laughs> <Yeah>. can <laughs> You can Uber it. If you have a helicopter, there's a telepad right near. Oh, right down here. Uh, We're not giving the tickets. Just nice to live right next to that. Yeah. We're not giving away the tickets till 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. So everybody's going to get a ticket. Yeah, you go to the bar to get the ticket. go to the bar Correct. up here on the rooftop. It's a beautiful night for football. And you get a ticket, and then we'll pull a ticket, and then that person's going to get all NFC East games. It's amazing. Home and home away. Home and away. You get to go to Jerry's house and say Zeke who <laughs> when they're playing them again. So well, think about the takeover that we normally see down there. All the Eagles jerseys. People travel down right. to Dallas. They travel everywhere, but Dallas is special. So now people, somebody here is going to be able to be a part of that. Exactly. One well, person, now, right? Not yeah, multiple one person winners. Gets one, it all. Winner. one person's going to get it all, and they can bring all. either the same person. Their yeah, it's ticket for two. Or... It's not one ticket. It's right. two tickets. Right. right, but one winner. One winner, yeah. two tickets. To paradise. Exactly right. Yes. I love the idea of this. All right, so we got uh, – so I know you guys were really breaking down this game tonight. Who's the – Oh, yeah. Who's Absolutely. the uh, – What's the you – know, there's no Phillies game tonight, yeah. so you don't have that whole, like, what are you watching? Well, yeah, thank God. Forth. Tony said it's a beautiful night for football. Shame we're not going to have any football. Exactly. Because I don't call what we're going to have tonight I missed the dress rehearsal era. Now that's over, too. Remember game three used to be, all right, we're going to see the starters for a quarter, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Now nobody started. Yeah, nobody played. The conversation used to be, is the starter going to play into the second half? Exactly. Right. Is there going to be any merit to the guy going Carson through the Carson Wentz is hunting in, in Houston tonight and looking at his new house. Yeah, he bought a house in exactly. Texas. <laughs> he's out. You know he's already I mean, out. They're must, trying to replace him down there. He must try to place Watson with him. He must be a fan of no state tax. Well, who isn't? Yeah, exactly. I mean, come on. Well, I know I am. Well, there's little there's little bits and pieces of like stuff slipping out of guys might play tonight now. Is What's it getting slipping out? out? More, exactly, right? Is that getting more exciting for you there, Shander? Things Who? are slipping out? What, Jason well, No, Peters. I'm saying, like, Jason, I didn't even mean it as a sexual joke. I meant it, like, seriously. What's slipping out? No, we do all those jokes noon to two. No, right. they, they, uh, uh, they we're like about- Tony. We've hit our quota. Now yeah. it's Tony's turn. I'm shot. <laughs> I already did a show today. <laughs> now. Yeah, no, uh, so did I. I was on TV. I need to watch the golf. There was right. Yeah, there was some talk that Deshaun Jackson might play. They're saying that McCown might play for two quarters. He better play. What do you yeah. mean might play? If McCown's not out there, then what the hell's the then point we got of him Clayton being on the Forsen team? we got Clayton Forson for four quarters. He, the people in Northwestern don't even want that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Mike Kafka does. Wait, won't, won't his uh, – I think when he's in the game, I think the Big Ten Network switches right to the Eagles oh, game. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Whenever right. Clayton Thorson comes in, they go live on the Big Ten Network. It's like when Barry Bonds was chasing that record. <laughs> exactly. It's a live break-in. <laughs> And then Pedro Gomez was on your TV. <laughs> His head up in the top yeah. right in the Barry Bonds at back. Dude has a big head, doesn't he? And well, he, he built the whole box. He still looks the same as he did back then. Who, Barry Bonds or Pedro Gomez? Barry Bonds' head a got different. a whole lot smaller. So different. the rest of his body. Nobody's head is as big to their body as the Reverend Al Sharpton, though, man. I don't know how that body holds that head, man. It is huge. Well, well he lost he lose a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah, he lost about he Same lost thing with Al Roker. Whenever you see exactly. somebody lose all but that weight. But not like Reverend Al. Reverend no? Al looks like a skeleton with a gigantic pumpkin on it, man. <laughs> it's not a good look. But, you know, who am I to talk about people's appearances? Well, I got well a, you've got a proportionate head to your body. Well, exactly. Well, I want to ask Mosh because I know Mosher goes Can I call there? him Mosh? Can yeah, I call yeah, him Mosh? Yeah, we're on a, on a Haven't you worked basis? with Jeff before? No. no. You guys have never overlapped. I've never worked with with Mosh, and I never called him Mosh. Well, not the mush though. That's no, he's not guy, the yeah. mush. Yeah. No. That's on the gambling that's, podcast. That's they Nick do. Kale. He's down in Nashville now, so don't worry about him. No, Jeff Mosher is deep I, into this depth chart. Okay? No, I know. So I, 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 listen, I, want, I know Mosher's work, and I've been following him forever. I want to know what player he's really watching tonight that might be fighting for a roster spot. That's not a quarterback, right? Well, not not a quarterback. Uh, enough of the quarterback stuff. <laughs> I'm just here not to get fined. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't 
you filled your quota enough too? <laughs> Say something funny, Gil. You've been here two, three and a half hours. If if you left at this point, you've done enough damage. I know this is overtime for Mosher. Seriously, He's usually normally just is he on the clock or is he off the clock? He's off the clock, doing it for free. <laughs> no wonder why he's not saying anything. Absolutely. <laughs> not Doug Free Air. Yeah. yeah. No, no, not no, Doug Free Air. We're like, there every Thursday. <laughs> uh, wide receiver, fellas. Greg Ward. No, see, Greg Ward's probably not going to make the team. He's going to be one of those guys that everybody's like, how can you cut Greg Ward? He's been so great. Well, he's probably not going to make the team. They're going to give well, Mac Hollins, I think, is going to get every chance to, to make yep. it. And if not, I think Mark and Michelle, because of his speed, and his experience in the CFL would have the leg up. What about Boston Scott? Because we already have a Dallas. We need a Boston on this team. Yeah, of course. And maybe a Houston. And uh, No, we already have nope. a Houston. That's no, Carson Wentz. Our quarterback's in Houston. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. A Cheyenne. Oh, no, that's a, a cheerleaders. Anyway. Uh, I think she's Boston's not on the main got, stage tonight, though. She's not. She's working on the side stage. So I can see. On. I can see Boston's got um, on, on the practice squad if there's still eligibility for him. I, as long as you have Darren Sproles here, it's kind of what do you need Boston Scott for? Right. Yeah, Other than sense. to help the cheerleaders out on the side stage. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no <laughs> shame in that. <laughs> That's all right. Everybody's that went okay with heads. that. That's okay. Everybody's By all right. the way, guys. No, we, we got your reference to the strip club. <laughs> now, we just moved on. Now, now, the whole Jadavian Clowney thing, is that on is that off the is that on the back burner? Or well, is that just a rumor? I don't, why do you think he went down and bought land in Houston? That's right. How he's about trying that? To, he's trying to no. bring Jadavian yes. Clowney here. No, he's, he's not. He's trying to not. convince this here. kid <laughs> to reignite his passion for the game yeah. while coming and playing So you mean instead of flying down to Houston just for a visit. Right. You know, like LeBron did here when he came to try to look around at houses in the main line? Yeah. He, <laughs> Allegedly. He, he actually bought a house to do that to convince Jadavion County that you can live in Houston but work in Philadelphia. He's got Iverson money. You know, you <laughs> spill something on the Bentley, you replace that sucker. Exactly right. I don't know why you'd go to Houston, though. That's like a that's a swamp down there. No, he, he, no it's Tony's not. right, man. No, Tax for you can live no, out there. No, I'm saying you, there's better places in Texas, like Austin is really nice. Well, Houston you know, like, is up and coming. Houston then. is swampy. Houston's cl- it's, a- it's close to the coast down oh. there. You go down Galveston. Galveston. Yeah, right on the beach. Uh, uh, let me tell you something about Houston. I once drove from where I was in Houston for an hour and a half, and I was not in any traffic, and when I was done, I was still in Houston. You're still in Houston. Yeah, Absolutely. there's like three downtowns. Well, it's because it's Houston, Galveston, like the entire yeah. area. No, no, no. I was still in downtown Houston. I was in Houston Prime. It is right. the Houston's biggest city got the I've ever best- been in. They got the greatest science museum. They got a butterfly museum. I did a, when I was in Houston. I've been there a bunch of times for the Final Four Super Bowl a couple years ago. Houston's happening, man. It's well, happening. It What's weird, the biggest though. butterfly you saw at that? Museum? They had all kinds. They have a butterfly museum. Like the size it's, of our heads. It does seem no, in Houston definitely. that nothing. Ms. Robin says, "Yeah, hey, n- nothing's been upgraded since 1970 in Houston. All the buildings, all the arch. It's like the world's largest Pensacola, in New Jersey." You just feel like you're still in 1975. Wow, that's a that's shot at Pensauk. Yeah, our friends are listening in Houston tonight. I want to know that that is not. What about our friends at Pensauk? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I we don't have any lists. <laughs> Listen, I was a big Pensauk and Mart guy That's back right. in the days, you know, and you yeah. couldn't do better except the Berlin Farmer's Market. You got Pensauk and Berlin. Those are my two favorite farmer's markets. There you go. So what's the uh, what's the scene up there? Anything good happening yet? Yeah, we're on the roof, man. What are you talking no, about? Saying. Luigi's here. Miss Robin's here. Oh, hello to everybody. We got Kalama coming for the table. We got sliders. Uh, we got Kalamaw. beer. Ah, I like that. Yeah. I, heard, I order uh, that for me. Yeah, I heard Aton earlier, like, pontificating about how great the uh, menu was. So what's on the menu? Well, here's the thing. As I've mentioned to you in the past, Chef Mike does a fantastic job of a wide range on a menu and everything that you order, because I've come here, it seems like, on a weekly basis for years. Anything that you do, anything that you bring in as far as the table is concerned <laughs> is fresh it tastes it tastes amazing Put Chef journey. Mike I guess has his own he intro has his own walk up music yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. How big he's he got is his there. own DJ like journey? Sting yeah. from yeah. wrestling yeah. Man. Yeah. he come in with just <laughs> who walks up to journey I thought, I thought this guy was engineering our show here he's doing walk up music yeah. he's Chef. He he's, just, who do you think brought him in Chef Mike it's outrageous he just grabbed two beer cans and started smashing them on his head right. yeah. Unbelievable. Like what Stone, time do we break? It's like Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> oh, there, are no go to the there are no breaks. There are no breaks. The air? We're out of control. We're off the rails. No breaks here, Eric Shander. <laughs> off the rails? That happened 12 minutes ago. All right. That happened You're like right. three hours ago. Does Chef Mike have well, more range than Tom What about Pat Chung? He's on the rails. Yes. 
Allegedly. Does Chef right. Mike have more range than Tom Hanks was the question. Well, Tom Hanks has no range. <laughs> Chef Mike has more range in the kitchen as far as, like, burners. <laughs> Exactly. He has more range than Steph Curry. And he's, on his, he's on his burner phone right now, as that's a matter right. of fact. Right. Trying to flip. get action. What's the line on this? Look at that. That's a flip. Five, five, you know that's a five. burner phone. Eagles are five-point favorites? No, no, they're underdogs. Five-point dogs, no. five five point dogs yeah. at home? They're, they're, they're not playing anybody. Yeah, because they Cody know. Cody Kessler and the McNown guy. Yeah, Cody Kessler, thank God, was or cleared McCown. of concussion protocol today. So he will come to the rescue. What's the over-under tonight for those who may want to die? Probably 36 and a half, I would say. Yeah, it's in that 36, 37 range. If you're going to bet on tonight, Tonight's game, 1-800-GAMBLER. I exactly. recommend the phone yes. call and uh, talk to the folks. Just commit yourself right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on a second. Yeah, Jason Peters doesn't do it for you? Like, you're not convinced now that the Eagles have a shot at the upset with Deshaun Jackson playing two series? I think the only thing to bet tonight, if you're looking for props, how many times will Jason Peters be offside tonight because he hasn't played in a while? <laughs> I mean, I think those are the kinds of things you've got to look at in a meaningless game where nobody really cares about anything anymore. Okay. Seems what about the first time uh, McDown sacked? McCown, whatever the hell. Josh guy's. McCown. Yeah. McCown. <laughs> Cade McNown. What Not, no, that's, Cade McNown. That's a different guy. He's right. looking for parking here in, in Concha Hawken, and yeah. it's pretty hard. I think I took that last spot. <laughs> he was pretty upset. You know, last time I heard of him, he was dating a Playboy centerfold. Really? Remember Cade? That? Yes, yeah. Cade, Cade McNown. Last time I heard Listen. from him, he was parking in handicapped yeah. spots Listen. at the UCLA campus. Is that right? That's he was right. in that's that. That's how he got in trouble. He was in that great '99 draft class. Yeah, with Tim Couch, right? That's right. It was him. That's Achilles tremendous. Smith was in that yeah. draft class. Wow, this is great Donovan. football now. You're not yeah. getting this kind of football. Dante Culpepper anywhere. was in that draft class. That's right. Oh, Don't forget everyone. Dante. And Kate McCown. UCF's finest, that's yeah. Right. That's right. All right, so these guys are at Dante. the Great American Pub, and they've now, got tickets have to? to every single oh, okay. NFC East game for the Eagles, home and road. Six tickets, but you got to be there. And when we come back... We got another announcement for you that you're going to want to stick around for. So one winner tonight gets all the tickets. Eagles, Cowboys, Eagles, Giants, Eagles, Redskins, home and road. I'm going to order some. Stick around for that. And when we come back, we got another announcement for you. So stick around as the Sports Bash rolls on. It's Mikey Bosch, Maze Aton, Tony Bruno up in Philly at the Great American Pub to get you ready for the Eagles and Ravens. They sound like they're really excited for this game. Uh, Excited is one word for it.